I've laid out all of my predictions already. I've finished all of them. Uh, my last one was Tennessee, if you want to go check that out in depth. Uh, but I've done every other Power 5 team. I just never bothered to make a video on them because I doubt there's many people that are walking around going, uh, oh man, I really wish I could see some Virginia Cavaliers predictions. So, <laughs> you know, take from it what you will. But I do have all of the predictions laid out. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now. And I'm going to start... so. I'll just go ahead and do them in order how I usually do them. So I'll start with the uh, the ACC, and most people expect that Clemson is going to, uh, you know, Clemson's going to dominate that conference, or it's going to be Florida State. And it's hard for me to disagree with that. So um, let me see if I can lie this out here. Oh, by the way, shout out to the new Stinger. Uh, let me play that again for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah fantastic stinger but yeah this is my ac these are my acc standings uh i have clemson you know first place at 10 and 2 but i do have them beating florida state which is why they're ranked ahead of the 11 and 1 florida state so as is very obvious right there i have uh florida state beating LSU, but losing their only game to Clemson, which means that the two will meet in the ACC championship. Following after that, you know, you got North Carolina at 9-3. and I think they're a pretty good team. Drake may probably be a finalist for the Heisman Trophy if he has a great season with a lot of passing yards, but I don't think it's, it's going to be enough to carry them all the way to the championship game. It'll take either Clemson or Florida State to, you know, kind of fall off a bit. And then after that, you know, Duke... Uh, I actually, you know, I have Clemson taking a conference loss, and that loss is to Duke in week one. Uh, a lot of things tend to happen in week one, a lot of upsets, and uh, what what better time than for week one and Riley Lender to get the jump over, uh, you know, starting quarterback Cade Klubnick. Uh, I think Cade Klubnick will get a lot of things rolling towards the end of the season or midway through. However, I, you know, starting out with his, you know, second over, second ever start, uh, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But following that, you know, Miami, Pittsburgh, I've got, the reason I have Duke ahead of Miami and Pitt is because usually it, it's in regard to uh, head-to-head, and then if it's not that, then it's just, you know, alphabetical order. So take that from what you will. Uh, I have Georgia Tech making a bowl game at 6-6, six and six, and I have them ranked ahead of Louisville, which means I have them beating them week one. So interesting stuff there. Syracuse number nine, NC State and Wake Forest at ten and eleven. So as you guys can tell, I think NC State and Wake Forest are probably going to fall off a bit this season. NC State is pretty, you know, they have a very tough schedule, not a lot of favorable matchups. And same goes for Wake Forest. They lost Sam Hartman to Notre Dame. I have no idea what they're going to look like. I think they're going to kind of, you know, fall off a bit as compared to some of these other ACC teams. And then after that, you kind of just, you know, scrape the bottom of the toilet. Boston College, Virginia, Virginia Tech, those three teams, I think, finish well well short of making a bowl. So my ACC standings stand as that. Uh, Lucas, any, you know, agreements, disagreements, anything you want to talk about with that? Uh, I don't think I don't think I really disagree with that. I mean, if I had to disagree with one thing, I, I, I could be ain't, – ain't the ACC, ACC – didn't they get rid of the divisions? Yes. Oh, they did? Mm-hmm. So uh, – I would probably say that the ACC uh, last place is obviously going to be either Virginia or Boston College. Those are obviously going to be the two worst teams, I would believe. So, uh, and then the ACE, and then uh, top three teams are probably going to be North Carolina, Florida State, and Clemson. Uh, but yeah, I feel like the ACC championship game it's probably going to be Florida State and Clemson. I would probably say that. And then Georgia Tech making a bowl. I agree with that. I think. Uh, uh, What's his name? Brent Key. I think he's, I think he's gonna, definitely going to make some changes down there at Georgia Tech. He's definitely been recruiting better than Jeff Collins, I believe. So, and uh, I think he's definitely uh, got some more passion than Jeff Collins. Which <laughs> I mean, I think coaches with passion, uh, 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 they, I think coaches with passion, I think they're really good coaches because they know how to get the players fired up and get them ready for a game. And I, I like that about Brent Key. So, yeah, I agree with those I, I agree with those predictions. All right, well, uh, I'll go ahead. And so, like I mentioned, I have Clemson and Florida State playing for the ACC Championship. Anybody that wants to talk about the difficulty of the schedules for the top three teams, of course, Clemson and uh, North Carolina both have to play Notre Dame, 
But Florida State does have to play LSU, so I think that balances it out. But all three of those teams have pretty rough schedules and a rough rough path there. Both these teams are really good. And in this matchup, of course, it's going to be a rematch in a neutral site field as compared to Clemson having home field advantage. But I think at this point in the season, uh, you know, I think Cade Klubnik will be a lot more, I think he'll perform a lot better than at the start of the season. He'll he'll have relaxed with the uh, the team, you know, he'll be able to work with the team a whole lot better, I think, because, you know... From the start of the season till the end, that's plenty of training experience. He'll have a lot of that under his belt, and that's the most important thing for a, a talent like that. And I do think Jordan Travis is a really good quarterback. There are people saying that he's a Heisman finalist, and while I don't think he's quite there yet, I think he is definitely good enough to, you know, guide Florida State to a ACC, uh, you know, an A you know, an ACC title. So it, it was really tough for me to figure out who I think would, you know, win the conference. And, you know, usually the standing and the thought process through this is that you can't beat a good team twice, which is why a lot of people say that, you know, Florida State, if if Clemson beats Florida State in the regular season and FSU finishes at 11-1, and chances are they're making, uh, they're making it to the playoffs because they're going to beat Clemson in the, uh, in the ACC championship game. Well, I tend to disagree. I mentioned how Cade Klubnik will be a lot, you know, he's going to definitely improve over the course of the season. This would be another great game. However, I think I think uh, Florida State gets Utah or USC'd here, uh, like in the Pac-12 championship last year. I think Clemson. I think. Uh, <laughs> The Georgia. One. Yep, yep. I, I gotta switch that out. But yeah, I have, I have a, I have Clemson winning the, uh, the ACC championship, and well, with sit, with two losses, that probably knocks out the ACC out of playoff contention. But you know, what the things are, I, I think Florida State is a very good team. I think they are going to, you know, really, really shine out this year. But people are just knocking off Clemson for, you know, competing for the ACC, which is absolutely ludicrous. Yeah. Clemson is still the you know the top dog in that conference, so uh, you know it's it's tough to say that you know Florida State is going to easily outmatch him. I think uh, I think Clemson gets the job done and wins the ACC. Any disagreements there? Uh, I mean, I think Clemson they could very well win the ACC. I think Hey Kwamenik will definitely be better this year, and also uh, Clemson they fired their old offensive coordinator who was. Uh, I've, I've, I've heard a lot of Clemson fans say how terrible he was, and they bring in the offensive coordinator from TCU. You can make fun of him saying, oh, TCU only scored seven points against Georgia. The thing is, though, besides that game, TCU's offense is, has played really, really well last season. Uh, I think Clemson's offense is definitely going to be better this season. Caden Klumnik, I think, is going to have a good season. Also, they bring Will Shipley back, who I think could be one of the best running backs in college football next season and uh defense their de- clemson's defense uh is usually pretty good although they don't have brent venables anymore although i, I think either i think they'll find a way to make their defense still be uh very good because they, they had a pretty good defense last year still even without brent venables and uh florida state of course they bring back jordan travis uh mike norvell he's definitely been recruiting well down there at uh florida state uh those two are definitely the two best teams in the conference. And, I, you know, I kind of do agree that Clemson will beat uh, Florida State just because it's at Clemson. But I think the ACC championship, it's it's going to be Clemson and Florida State again. But this in the ACC championship, I think Florida State beats Clemson and uh, finishes 12-1 uh, and one and goes to the college football playoffs. All right. Well, uh, yeah, no, hard to disagree with that. I mean, everybody has, you know, a different loss. And I see where uh, but we're 3-0, Wu says. Uh, well, actually, it's John Brower who said, who's uh, Clemson's non-conference loss in my predictions? That would be none other than the South Carolina Gamecocks. I actually do think uh, South Carolina knocks off uh, Clemson. Uh it, so it is a home game for South Carolina, which makes that a lot more interesting of a matchup for them. But of course, we'll see how it goes. It wouldn't mean anything for the ACC standings, of course. Clemson could lose to both Notre Dame and uh, South Carolina, and then from there, you know, whatever else could happen, it, it wouldn't really matter. Uh, so you know, a lot of things could play out that way. 
But uh, yeah, that's that's my uh, that's my standings for the ACC. 